Good evening. Uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I am talking about context menu example in WPF. Uh, so uh, create a rich text box uh, with the context menu. So uh, rich text box dot context menu. context menu okay I want to uh, take icon with the command cut so menu item context menu it means of that is a menu so uh, I, I want to insert menu item that is cut with the command so automatically uh, command is associate uh, cut command is associated with this menu item so I want to insert icon with the image so here we will take image with the source that is I already have, uh, uh, I have a apple.png file so associated with this item mm, as a icon now run this now uh, write something in the rich text box welcome to WPF and select item WPF right click that is cut ok so mm, here uh, here we have only single item that is cut I want to design the next item that is copy uh, with uh, appropriate command so copy and paste the same menu item for the next command that is copy and change the image source that is uh, uh, we have a apple for both now change uh, the second command with the grapes so copy this image in to your project yeah grapes.png okay now replace the apple.png with the grapes.png so grapes.png okay that's fine now again start it write something in the uh, rich text box and right click on the selected text yeah cut and copy okay if your rich text box is disabled suppose uh, your rich text box is disabled so is enabled property is false it that means of your rich text box is disabled and, and you want to show your context menu on disabled right clicking on this rich text box it's nothing to uh, show your context menu uh, when we click on right click by default so if you want to show your uh, context menu on disabled item then <coughs> use context menu service dot show on disabled attribute that is true through which we can show your uh, context menu on disabled item right clicking on this and cut and copy so thank you thank you very much for watching this uh, video tutorials please keep watching my all video tutorials which is related to WPF thank you thank you very much